Okay, so here we go in the brand new 2015 STI. Um, this car is the launch edition, so it comes with a short shift thrower, um, push to start on the base model, and a blue interior. Um, I think the interior looks a lot better than the regular STIs, really. It's not so uh, in your face, very subtle, but um, looks good. As far as driving, I came from a 2011 STI, so I'm comparing against that, and it feels a lot better to me. Um, steering is more precise, more sensitive. I think they changed the ratio. As far as power wise, I, you know, I haven't really got on it. This car does have a cat back already. It, um, the exhaust from the previous generation and bolted right up, which is kind of surprising. It's supposed to be a new chassis, but so far a lot of the stuff from the older car bolts right up. Um, I'm still breaking it in. It's got less than 600 miles. The uh, car is definitely a little bumpier, I think, than the 2011 STI or previous generation. Um, you know, I think it's got stiffer springs, stiffer chassis, uh, stiffer sway bars, just a um, really stiff car. You know, it's a great, I think it'd be a great track car. I'll probably do some uh, tracking in it once it's broken in. Um, it feels great though, I mean, compared to the old model, especially the older WRX is how soft they were. This car still has a previous engine, uh, same 2.5 liter boxer, so it's got the boxer sound. Um, not sure if you can hear it. I think uh, this car is a lot quieter, less road noise. Um, you know, it's already got an exhaust and you can't even really hear it too much. Um, you can hear the blow off valve just a tad bit. Uh, the seats in this car feel maybe a little comfier. They got the headrest, adjustable headrest now. Um, I like the look of the older ones, but these ones feel pretty good. I think they grip you just a tad bit better. Still not an Evo, you know, where it's kind of hugging you and keeping you from drifting off the seat, but uh, it's definitely an upgrade from last year. Short throw shifter feels great in this car. It's really close, um, very enjoyable to drive. Definitely tell what gear you're in. Just goes right in, no problem. Um, less, way less sloppy than the last generation. Uh, I've been driving in intelligent mode with this car so far, um, especially on braking, it's uh, very easy to drive. Uh, sport feels pretty good. Sport Sharp honestly feels a little too much. Um, yeah, it's just it's kind of touchy and um, doesn't feel doesn't feel natural. So I've been staying out of that. I actually switch it in right now. Uh, it just changes the throttle curve, I think. Um, same PSI. Let me get on it a little bit right here. Car feels great in the corners, um, definitely stiffer than the previous model. A lot better steering feel. Stays really flat. You can tell um, they stiffen the chassis a lot. Uh, brakes are same as the old model, I think. Uh, same size, same pads, everything. So um, not really an upgrade there. Car definitely rides a little harsher than previous models. A um, little stiffer, and you know feels more race car-ish. Um, not very forgiving. You know, if uh, if you want a really smooth ride, I'd probably go with the WRX. Um, the STI is quite a bit stiffer and is not overall as good for uh, daily driving. You feel right here the bumps. Definitely not the smoothest riding car. Overall, I think if you're thinking about buying a 2015 STI, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. It's uh, definitely an upgrade from the previous generations. Uh, some people don't like the looks as much. You know, that's uh, that's all taste, you know, it's up to you. If you like it, go out and get it, because it drives better, same power, interior is better, and honestly, I think the exterior looks great. So you can hear this Cobb catback exhaust. 